Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly update where I tell you about all of the exciting uh, Inkscape developments that I've been up to this week. This is for my lovely Patreon supporters. Uh, th thank you very much for helping me, um, helping me make Inkscape uh, better and faster. Um, this week has been interesting though. The weather is closing in so it's getting cold. I had my first bike ride uh, in, uh, and I got caught in the rain. So it's been w one of those weeks. That's why I'm wearing this lovely fleece. Um, but Inkscape-wise, it's been kind of busy. I wanted to focus this week on finishing some of the items. So I started off uh, with the, the uh, copying and pasting and cutting uh, selected notes. This is, you know, where you can, what I showed last week, where you can copy and paste. Um, the, when I showed you it last week, there was still some transformation issues and some uh, styling issues. Uh, but you should have seen that happy little dance that I did. I think it was on mon Monday when I managed to solve all those transformation issues. And as soon as you solve it, like, click, everything just fell into place and it, and it works really nicely. Uh, then... I spent some time collecting together some of the uh, um, contributions and snippets of text for the, the second draft of the drawing tutorial. Um, this isn't programming, uh, but it is something that the uh, Inkscape program needs. Inkscape ships with some tutorials in the, in the help men menu. And uh, it, we are currently not demonstrating how to use Inkscape to, to draw. Uh, using the different drawing tools. So this is especially uh, important since uh, our, um, our tools have developed over time and new, new releases have better tools in them. So we needed to kind of explore those. Um, so I invited the community to uh, be involved and uh, contribute some um, paragraphs of text to explain like how, how to use the tools. Uh, and I've collected those together and then I've reissued the draft and I've asked the community again to just read over them and see how, how they're doing. Uh, with a bit of hope, uh, those plus the di diagrams that go along with them will go into the next version of Inkscape. Um, and so artists who want to draw, um, even with a, with a pen like, like this one, will be able to um, basically use that tutorial as a foundation to, to give themselves some skills. Um, then I spent some of the week just fixing odd issues and regressions. Um, not as exciting, but I think it's important to fix things, uh, fix bugs especially. So first of all, we wanted to make the, the t t tutorials read only when you open them. Uh, currently in Inkscape, if you open up a tutorial on certain operating systems, you can save over the tutorial, which is not good. Uh, so that's fixed. Now it, it'll open, the tutorials will open as if they're a new document. So you can still save them, but you can save them as something else. Um, I fixed it so that when you export a PNG file, you know, you, you rasterize it, that file name is added to the recent documents list. Um, I don't know if this affects other operating systems, but I do know that in Linux, uh, under GNOME, um, your recent file menu um, in, in the file manager is manipulated by by this same process that adds the SVG files into the open recent. So by add, adding the PNG files in there, it means that I'll be able to more quickly access the files and people will be, be able to see them more, the, the file as if it's a recent file, which it is. Um, so it's just a small Im improvement. Uh, I improved the, the zoom Factor. So basically, this is uh, there was a regression in the zoom correction. This is where you can use a use a ruler like this one, and you can measure your screen, right? So you can measure the screen and see whether the the, the Inkscape's representation of a centimeter or an inch is actually a centimeter or an inch. And then what you do is you you pull a little slider and get it until the screen representation matches the ruler. Uh, and as soon as you've done that, the idea is is that the zoom will then reflect physical units and not just the the computer's internal pixels. And uh, it, we we had a regression, but we also had a user experience problem, which was that the zoom percentage was not one hundred percent. So you'd press one to one, and the zoom percentage would say one hundred forty seven percent, which is not great user experience. So I worked on refactoring that code. 
uh, make it smarter, make it uh, healthier, make it easier to understand, um, make the user experience simpler, I think. Um, I fixed a bug in copying mesh grade gradients. So this is where you would you would create a, an object with, with a mesh grade gradient and then you copy it and paste it uh, in the same document or into a new one and the mesh gradient was just gone. Um, so fix that. Uh, I also fixed a regression in the can canvas allocation. This is basically where you'd open up a new document and the document would be like all the way to the left and the bottom. Like you, you would be zoomed in on a strange place. So I fixed that. So now you should be centered on the on the can canvas when you open it up. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, Jonathan uh, Neuhauser, who has been uh, very good about uh, working this week on extensions. Um, mostly, the reason why I know about this is because I, I look after the extensions repository, so I have to review his code and, and, and see what he's up to and make sure that everything that's going into the extensions repository is, is good. And he's been great. He's been fixing lots of bugs, um, lots of minor ir irritations and some other refactoring work, which is actually quite quite important to move the extensions repository for forwards. Um, so a big shout out to his work there. Um, I think that's about it for this week. Uh, if you have, like always, um, some ideas or priorities or issues um, with Inkscape and what you're doing, perhaps you're doing an uh, um, Inktober or a Vectrober or whatever we're calling calling it, and uh, you want to show us your artwork, uh, I'd be interested to see, see that. And um, until next week, thank you very much for listening.